Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Let's solve this gate 1989 question. Okay, what this question is saying? Let's see. A switching function, switching function means basically Boolean function. Okay, so this switching function, this is the another name of Boolean function. So I can say that the question is talking about Boolean function. So the question is saying that a Boolean function is said to be neutral. Okay. If the number of input combinations for which its value is 1 is equal to the number of input combinations for which its value is 0, compute the number of neutral switching functions on n variables, okay, for a given n. So, the question is saying that, the question is defining a new class of functions that is neutral functions, okay, neutral functions. So, this is a new class of function uh, is defined uh, in, this, in this question. What is this neutral function? So this is a function in which the you can notice that the combinations the number of input combinations for which the function is one okay uh, that is equal to the number of combinations for which function value is zero okay so this is the definition of neutral function let's take example uh, so for example if you have a function on two variables okay if you have any uh, function on two variables then you can notice that uh, on two variables we have total four combinations possible because a comma b these are the boolean variables so they can have uh, they can be either zero or one so we can have total four input combinations are possible and now you can notice that consider these two functions okay consider these two functions consider this function and consider this function now we can notice that this function okay this function you can notice this function is neutral function this function is a neutral function why this is neutral function because you can notice that this function is neutral because uh, the number of combinations for which this is zero this function is zero for two combinations okay for two combinations this function is zero and for two combinations this function is one okay so you can notice that in this function i can say in this function f1 i can say that uh, uh, number of zeros in this function f1 i can say number of zeros is equal to number of ones okay but in this function f2 you can notice that number of zero is not equal to number of ones you or you can say that this function f2 this is zero for only one input combination so for only one input combination this is zero and for three input combinations this function f2 is one okay so you can notice that number of input combinations for which f2 is zero that is equal to one and number of input combinations for which f2 is one that is three okay so this is not neutral function okay so i can say this is not a neutral function okay this is not neutral function so neutral function means number of zero must be equal to number of ones you can notice okay in in this function in the truth table of this function in the truth table of this function number of zero should be equal to number of ones that is the definition of neutral function now we need to find what is the number of neutral functions so let's see if you have only one variable if you have uh, functions over one variable then how many neutral functions we can create see if you only have one variable this variable can be either zero or one then total we can create total we can create 2 power 2 power n this is the total number of functions that we can create okay this is the total this is the total basically okay this is the total uh, this is the number of total number of boolean functions that we can create okay so and if you have any doubt in this then you can uh, watch the lecture uh, i have put the link in the description if you have any doubt how many functions we can create over n variable so if you have n variables basically if you have n variables okay if you have a function over n variables a1 a2 a n total n boolean variables we have then in that case how many functions we can create so number of number of boolean functions i can say okay number of boolean functions over n variables over n boolean variables okay over n boolean variables that will be equal to 2 power 2 power n okay so this is the number of boolean functions over n variables and if you have any doubt in this then you can watch the lecture and the link you can find in the description okay now let's come back to this question so if you have one variable then total four functions are possible you can notice that this is variable so this can be either zero or one so we can create total four functions we can create zero 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 one one zero and one one okay so total four functions we can create in these four functions you can very easily notice that in this function number of zero is equal to number of one in this function number of zero equal to number of one so you can notice that these two functions i can say f2 comma f3 these two functions are neutral 
so f2 is neutral f3 is neutral and you can notice this f1 comma f4 okay this f1 comma f4 these are not neutral function okay so this f1 comma f4 these are not neutral function because you can notice that in this f1 you can notice that number of input combinations number of combinations for which f1 is 0 so you can notice f1 is 0 for two combinations and f1 is 1 for uh, for for no combination this f1 is 1 and similarly this f4 f4 is 1 for two combinations but f4 is not 0 for any combination so you can notice that this f2 comma f3 they are neutral function and f1 comma f4 they are not neutral function so how many neutral function we can create this is the question okay how many neutral functions we can create so very simple you can apply the combinatorics if you have any function on n variable okay so if you have this this is a function on n variable so you have total n input variables a1 a2 a n total n input variables we have then for n variables we can create total 2 power n combinations because every variable has two choices every variable is either 0 or 1 0 or 1 0 or 1 every variable can be 0 or 1 so total n variables we have so total 2 power n combinations are possible you can notice maybe all are 0 maybe this is 0 this is 0 maybe this is 1 similarly maybe all are 1 okay so you can notice total combinations total combinations are 2 power n total 2 power n combinations are possible and now how many functions are possible total number of functions is because for every row for every row you can notice that for every row you can notice that uh, function can be 0 or 1 for every combination for every input combination function can be 0 or 1 so total number of functions i can say number of boolean function number of boolean functions that will be that will be 2 power 2 power n because you can notice number of rows number of rows is 2 power n and for every row we can have two choices for the function for every row function can be 0 or 1 for every row function can be 0 or 1 so finally i can say number of boolean function is 2 power 2 power n but you can notice we want number of neutral function this is what we want we want neutral function and neutral function you can notice that neutral function has equal number of zeros and ones so in the neutral function you can notice number of zeros and number of ones will be equal okay so you can notice number of zero will be equal to number of ones okay so how can we find number of neutral function i can see that i can say that if you want neutral function if you want neutral function if you want to create a neutral function then you can choose half of the rows okay and you give them one okay so you can notice if you want to create neutral function then what you can do in the neutral function you can notice number of rows for which you have zero number of input combinations for which this function is zero that is equal to number of input combinations for which this function is one so what i can do so how okay i can say half of the rows okay or, uh, total two power n rows we have but half of these rows okay will have value one and half of these rows will have value 0 so what i can do total number of rows are 2 power n this is the total number of rows this is equal to number of rows okay so what i can do for half of them the function can take value 1 and for other half automatically the function will take value 0 okay so i can say that if you want to create neutral function then what you can do okay then i can say for half okay for half rows i can say okay for uh, for half rows i can say function function can be zero and for other half okay for remaining rows i can say for remaining rows for remaining rows function can be one okay so this is your neutral function right this is the definition of neutral function so what we can do we can select we can select half number of rows so i can say total these many rows we have okay from these many rows you select half of them you select half of them okay so uh, half okay how, how many rows you select so total half. these many rows you have so what is the half of that half of that is this so half of that is 2 power n minus 1 so what you do this is the total number of rows from total number of rows you select half of half number of rows okay so this is the total number of rows you select half number of rows okay and these half number of rows the function will be 0 and for the remaining uh, for the remaining rows automatically function will be one so these many these many neutral functions we can create these many this is the this is the number of neutral function this is the number of neutral functions okay so this is the answer and the point is very simple okay the point is very simple that 
total two power n combinations are possible. These are the total number of input combinations. But for half of the combinations, the function should be zero, and for remaining half, the function should be one. Okay. So this is the total number of input combinations that are possible. From these combinations, what we can do? We can select uh, half of them. We can select and we can we can give the function value zero. And for the remaining half, we can give the function value one. Okay. So this is the total number of neutral functions that are possible. Okay. So two power n c two power n minus one. So for this question, the answer will be two power n uh, c c two power n minus one. Okay. So this is the answer.